how compression fittings work or how to join copper pipes with compression fittings. My name is Alan Hart and today I wanted to do a video on connecting. So this is a very, very basic video today, but I wanted to show a video on how to join copper pipes with compression fittings. I see them done incorrectly quite a lot. Um, often see it like that with PTFE all over the thread. And I just wanted to show you the right way on how to do it. You see there, I've just cut that, cut that apart so you can see inside there. So I'm going to show you how to connect it the correct way. I'm going to show you a few products products that I use instead of instead of PTFE tape. Um, I'm also going to do some MLCP compression. So I'm just going to show you that as well. That's not really what this video is about. Um, it's really about the copper side of it. Um, but yeah, let's have a look. So first of all, I just wanted to start off with how not to do it. So when you put PTFE tape on and you put it on the thread like that. So if we take that nut off on there. What it does is, if you put too much PTFE tape on here, it's it's difficult to tighten the tighten it up. So that is the wrong way to do it. To show you the correct way to do it, first of all, I'm going to show you the fitting. And if you have a look inside that fitting, it's got like a tapered edge in there. And then if we have a look with a fitting you also have an olive like that and if you look on the olive the olive also has a tapered part of it if you see they join together like that and then we have the nut and it's a little bit difficult to see but in that nut it's also got a tapered edge and then that goes on onto that. And that's where your pipe would go in. Got some copper pipe here. It's been cut with pipe cutters. In the real world, you would deburr the inside of the pipe. And then your copper pipe goes inside where the nut is. When you're putting it in, you need to make sure that you're putting it in square if that makes sense so you, you don't want to try and push it in at an angle and you want to make sure that this is fully in see there it's fully in and then I'll just take this apart I'll just show you what it's like inside then you've just got your your olive there what I'm going to do I'll just nip this up now with a spanner this is a really basic plumbing video but it's amazing how many people do very easy and very basic stuff wrong so just for for trainees we've got a group on Facebook for trainees so I just thought I'd do a few of these videos just to show the basics and I'm going to do other things as well like lifting floorboards up and things like that because a lot of people don't seem to know this type of stuff so I'm just going to tighten this nut on here now and um, we don't need to go mad with this it only needs once it once you feel it's a little bit tight it just needs like a quarter of a turn and then and then that's tight so what I've done there I've made sure the pipe is fully pushed in there's no PTFE tape or anything like that on there at the moment I'm just gonna undo that back off so I like to nip them on so I know olive is tight and then usually I take it back off or a lot of time I take it back off and I just put a bit of paste around there some people would put PTFE tape around there as well so if you have a look at that now that olive it's on as it should be and it's not squashed right into the pipe so sometimes what people do is they tighten the nut far too much and this olive actually ends up nearly the same size as pipe and, and it just leaks and then they start putting loads of PTFE tape around there then which is 
obviously it's it, it's a, it's such a simple thing to do correctly but people tend to do it incorrectly so we've got us pipe we've got us olive on the pipe now so i've got the olive on the copper pipe now and if we get as brass compression fitting if we have a look there if we push that on there we can see that that is quite close together or it's very close together and when that nut is tightened over there that is how that seals because it's a tapered it's a tapered edge now i'll just show you if if now you put it on wrong if you see there you've now got a gap see that gap so sometimes the reason i'm showing you this is if you change radiator valves sometimes the old valves this bit of it is deeper and it'll go on correctly and the new the new valves because they might want to save a bit of metal this might be a bit shorter and when you put that on so then you might need to cut the olive off to do it but going back to this one now we've got this pipe like that so what i do i take this back out and i would put a bit of paste on this olive here so as i say i would normally put on the pipe here on the olive I would put some paste on there or oh, that's what I used to do I'm gonna show you that I used to use this stuff it's a bit it's been in van a while it's old it's a uh, Laco uh, slick tight see there so I used to use this stuff quite a lot and it, and it, this is I've never had a problem with this but it's a little bit messy and if you have a look it sort of goes all over and it goes a bit manky thing um, but it's good stuff you see like that then just dropped some but if you get your, get your olive and you just put a little bit round there get a little bit round there and then you just put your fitting on there and then just nip that up and then obviously just wipe that off so that's the Laco stuff the slick tight and as I say, good stuff, you know, really good. But this is what I use now. I tend to use Loctite, 55. And I find that this is miles, miles better. So if you were gonna use Loctite 55, and I'm not sponsored or anything for any, any of these videos. So, so I've no, no affiliation with, with any of them. As I say, there's, there's probably many other products that do the same thing. Um, but with this stuff, if we have a look at normal PTFE tape, normal PTFE tape is is like this, quite thick and big. But Loctite 55, it's it's a little bit like PTFE tape. There, I don't know if you can see, but it's got like a, it's got like a, it's like damp. It's got like a damp seal on it, and then. All I would do then is, when I get this, when you get your olive like that, all I want to do, I just want to put a, a bit, just a bit of this, round where this olive is here. So if we have a look there. We're just putting a little bit on there. And then this just cuts off there. So if you see there, there's, there's not loads and loads on there, but in this fitting, if we go back to the fitting here, the bit that is the seal on this fitting is where it joins together. So it's, it's where the olive here touches this bit here. So there's no point having loads on the threads and things like that, it's just pointless. So when we put that on there, then, when we tighten that up now, what we've done there, a little bit hard to see there, but when we push that into there, we tighten that up now, and that will be a perfect seal, and that will never ever leak. And then all we're gonna do then, we just nip that up with spanner. And as I say, that'll never ever leak like that. And I think, in my opinion, it looks a lot better than a fitting like that. 
when you see a fitting that's like this to me it just just tells me that somebody DIY has probably done it and they, they haven't done the job any better at all all they've done is they make it made it a bit harder for the nut to tighten on and it's just not needed at all so please add a comment below and let me know which which you think looks better and it is better um, as promised I'm going to show you some compression on MLC P plumbing fittings now so we've got as MLCP pipe we've also got we've got a special radiator valve this is um this is one from EPH and these actually come as 16 16 millimeter radiator valves and the they've got the correct fitting on and you can correct uh, you can connect sorry directly onto the pipe so if you had that pipe coming up through the floor in MLCP which is this is the Blansol, Blansol pipe and it's the barriered pipe so it's got an aluminium layer in there. So if you imagine when you've got copper and you'd have to paint your copper, if you did use this stuff, which I like, I'll just show you on one of these pipes over here. So you can have the MLCP going directly into the valve. On these valves, these are not the EPH valves, but these have got like a, it's a bit of a bigger nut on. If you have a look in there, you can actually see the brass bit inside. I don't really like, I don't really like the, them adapters, but with, but, but with these ones, what happens is you just buy any normal valve and then you buy this adapter separate. So as I said, these valves, these are for the 16 millimeter multi-layer pipe and these are the EPH controls and the EMTRVMLP whatever that whatever they are but anyway um so this is your this would be your lock shield and the TRV one is the same I look in the box the TRV head one and that's the same. So one side's 15 millimeter and the other side is 16 millimeter. But if you wanted it the other way around, you can just take this off. Take that out. And then you can still use that as a 15 mil. So that so you can use it on that side if you wanted. So the this bit, this part of it, and this part of it will also accept 15 mil pipe like that both sides like that so for instance if you bought these type of valves and one at radiators had copper on you 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 know you weren't able to change it you could still use these valves or later on in time if you wanted to use different valves then you could still still do that as well How these work is this bit of it goes into the MLCP pipe which I'll show you now and then you've got in there you've got an olive again if I can get it out you've got an olive just the same but this time it's a little bit of a split olive and then you've got your nut so I'll show you how to do this now so as I say with this, this is the Blancel pipe and it's MLCP pipe, so it's it's like a plastic pipe, but then it's got an aluminium layer and then it's plastic again. So it's very different to like your normal push fit style plastic. And this pipe this pipe it's so good you can actually use it on secondary returns for hot water. So it's quality stuff. And so what we're gonna do if we're gonna connect to this, just to show you this. This bit of brass here goes inside there. So, as with copper, so we deburr the pipe. So with this, you just put your put your tool in there, 
and that just deburs it and then that part of it would push onto that but first of all we need to put the nut on here so we put the nut put the nut on and then you've got your olive on there so you've got your nut your olive and then this bit here pushes onto there just like that as I say with this pipe this is your bland sole and it's a multi-layer pipe it's a little bit hard to see but it's got a metal layer in there so it's your MLCP pipe and it's a multi-layer pipe and as I say this is bland sole pipe there's other other brands as well and then what we're doing there we've got us brass part and if we can have a look there you can see it's got two o-rings on there and that's going in there so if we have a look on that it's also got like a like a seal there as well so this is real quality stuff this it's not not cheap rubbish and then that olive is inside there I don't know if you can see that I'll just take it back out so you can see yeah there you go so olives there so your olive then is getting pushed right up to there I'll just put my nut back on again and if we get the fit in you can see there so you've got your double your double o-ring is going inside the fitting and then because this nut is a little bit longer it's going to crush that onto the brass and onto so this will be sandwiched in between so it's a really good design And then all you do is just, just nip that up with a spanner when it's on. Which I think these look a lot better. If you've got any questions with these, just, just add it in the comments below. And I'll try my best to answer. So, I don't know if you agree or not, but please add a comment below and let me know what you think to that. But I think that these are really good. And as I say, if later on in a few years time the valve started to leak and you needed to change valve, then you'd better just undo that nut off, off there, and you'd just better put any, any valve onto it. But it's, it's this part of it that's a, it's a nice little touch. As I say, you can buy standard valves, you can just buy standard valves and you can buy the other nut. But as I say, it's got that little slot in it, which I don't like. I think these are really, really good and it's good quality. And the other benefit to this would be, you'd have less joints on the heating system. So this pipe, as it goes under floor, you, you could just bend it. Um, I ain't got a bit of pipe now, but you could just bend it. So you can have one continuous pipe until it goes to the T, um, or where you've got a joint. So that's the good benefit with that. There's also another option with that, with MLCP stuff. If you didn't want to have the white on show, you can actually buy chrome pipes so that's just a little tip with that and that that part of it would go under the floor and then you press you just press fit and press onto that um, so I hope this has been of, of some use please add some questions below um, a few tips from this so Loctite Loctite 55 um, as I say there's probably um, other products that do the same thing this is the products that I use, that I like it. Um, this stuff's still good, you know, I still like that stuff. Um, there's also Loctite 577, and that's for, that's for if you're connecting metal to metal, um, like a thread, so like a thread to a thread, and that's what you use that for. So I don't use, don't really use PTF ETF anymore. Um, in fact, I had to search high and low to find this for this video, um, and I didn't. I didn't have any normal um, PTFE tape. I only had this. This is gas PTFE. Um, as I say, I would normally use this stuff, or or this, and that's it really. Um, so that's how you join. That's how you join your copper pipes. So we've got, as I say, we've got your, you've got your compression one there, your, your um, brass, brass one, and you've got your MLCP one.
as well. Hope it's uh, been of some interest this video and if you are if you're a trainee and you're an apprentice then please come over to please come over to our training group on on Facebook. Thank you.